When you pray, do you see the glory of God? You only hear your voice. And your voice cannot give you, you know, that protection that you need. It is the glory of God. We need to experience the reality of his word. And what is the reality? His glory, his presence must be seen. When the glory of God comes upon your life, darkness cannot come near you. Because you become the light to quench what? Darkness. Witchcraft is darkness. Poverty on its own is nothing. But the spirit behind the name poverty is darkness. When this spirit is upon your family or your life, you become darkness of what? Poverty. When you pray, don't trust your voice. Don't trust the number of days that you have been fasting. You need to see the glory of God. Even when you are reading the Bible, it doesn't pay anyone. If you read from Genesis up to Revelation, you get nothing. You can read one chapter, one verse, with the heart, pure heart, you will see the glory of God. In that one chapter and one verse, taking note of the, you know, whatever you are, there's nothing wrong. But the glory of God must come upon your life to protect you, to cover you, and to quench darkness. There is no way you can stand here on earth and fight Satan with this flesh. You can only defeat Satan if the glory of God is upon your life. The glory of God must remain permanent upon your life as a child of God. When you pray, it is not a question of no, it is time or, you know, for prayer. There is nothing like that spiritually. Even when you are sleeping, the glory of God must be seen like the light, you see. Heaven must continue packing the children who are here on earth. When you are praying, the angels must appear to help you. The glory of God is our defense. It is our protection. Some of you women, you are wearing a mask. You cannot marry. This is why when you enter in the realm of prayer, the glory of God will come down to unmask your face. So that men will start now seeing you that there is a beautiful man here. You are working in that company. No one knows that it is you who are making that company you know to progress. Because they have covered your face. When you enter in the presence of God, the glory of God will come down to unmask your face. So that your boss will start thinking about you to say, Ha, ah, it is Mlenga doing all these things. I can see his contributions. When you stand and say, Jesus, the glory of God must come upon your life. When you see that, there you know that, oh, I'm well covered and protected.